you will fight the way you train. That's one of the greatest wisdoms of martial arts training and self-defense. Hi, I'm Peter Medler, BJJ Black Belt and your martial arts coach. So this is a basic and fundamental piece of strategical advice that everybody should need to remember. So when you train martial arts, when I used to train BJJ 20 years ago, we used to even ridicule many traditional martial artist styles because they were like, you know, training no contact and stuff. And when you told them like that it's useless, they would told you, yeah, but in a fight, I would do this and that. And we would tell them, no, you wouldn't, you wouldn't. You would do exactly what you train. So if you, in training, use no contact, that's the distance you're used to. And under stress, you will resort to the thing that you train most. And even more importantly, if you have not trained martial art, most likely you will do nothing, nothing at all. That's what most people do. If you ask, if you like make a poll on the street, 90% of people are 100% certain, oh, I would fight back so hard. Like women will tell you, oh, I'm gonna scratch out the eyes, blah, blah, blah. But I've been a bouncer many years and like all the security guards and bouncers like drop to the comments, say your experience, 90% of people, men and women, do nothing. When threatened, they do nothing, they freeze. They don't even run, let alone fight back. They don't even run. They just freeze, they just cower and wait till it's over, which is a legit strategy, it's legit. But you need to be aware that if you don't train to fight, you will most likely not fight. If you train to not hit, you will most likely not hit. And if you train to do a berimbolo, you will most likely do a berimbolo. So if you want to do hard takedowns in a self-defense situation, you need to train hard takedowns. That's just it. If you want to keep standing, throw your opponent to the floor and keep standing yourself. That's what you need to train. You will train 